Welcome to this video on creating and interpreting reports for automated insulin delivery systems. We will explore types of reports available and provide a structured approach to interpreting them. Please note that the information shared represents expert opinions rather than official guidelines. One, types of reports. Currently, there are no standardized reports for automated insulin delivery systems resulting in variations across platforms such as CareLink, Gluco, Tandem Source, YourLoops, Night Scout, and Tidepool. To gain valuable insights, it is recommended to review reports from the past 14 days, similar to CGM reports. Generally, there are three main types of reports to consider. 1. Summary Report. This report provides an overview of glucose and insulin metrics. Important glucose sensor metrics include time of sensor wear, time in range, time below range, estimated HbA1c, and glycemic variation. In the case of pregnancy, it is important to adjust the target range accordingly. The report usually contains an AGP profile that displays trends of hypo or hyperglycemia, enabling you to identify patterns and assess the impact of meal boluses. The summary report also highlights details about the insulin delivery, like time in auto mode, total daily insulin dose, percentage of basal and bolus insulin, and the frequency of bolusing. 2. Daily and weekly reports. These reports offer a detailed view of the relationship between glucose levels and meal correction boluses for each day. 3. Device settings report. These reports show the settings and alarms of the glucose sensor, insulin pump, and AID algorithm. 2. Four steps to interpret reports. To effectively interpret reports from automated insulin delivery systems, it is beneficial to follow a structured approach. Consider the following steps as a guide. 1. Begin by evaluating if treatment goals are being met, focusing on time in range above 70% and time below range below 4% over the past two weeks. One important aspect to take into account when working with automated insulin delivery systems is to assess the frequency of meal bolusing by the user, which is typically indicated in the summary report. 2. Analyze the AGP profile to identify trends of hypo or hyperglycemia and check if they are related to meal boluses on the daily or weekly reports. If these trends are related to meal boluses, assess factors such as timing, carbohydrate counting, and consider adjusting the carbohydrate ratio. The goal is to minimize post-meal glucose excursions to below 60 mg per deciliter, or 3.3 millimol per liter, compared to pre-meal. For trends outside of meals, adjustments to the target or basal insulin rates may be necessary based on the automated insulin delivery system. Additionally, explore possible correlations with missed boluses, exercise, alcohol, or hypoglycemia. 3. Ensure proper usage of the automated insulin delivery system by checking sensor wear, activation of auto mode, adherence to pre-meal bolusing, correct use of temporary target values, and regular infusion set changes, evaluate daily reports for overcorrection of hypo or hyperglycemia, monitor the frequency of manual boluses and alarms, and assess the appropriateness of alarm settings and reminders. 4. Verify that the preset basal insulin rate corresponds to the actual basal insulin in auto mode. If there is a discrepancy, it is recommended to make adjustments to the basal rate by 10% in each time block, rather than making individual adjustments per time block. Document all pump settings and establish an emergency plan including insulin pen usage in the event of a pump malfunction. Do not forget to ensure that your patient has access to insulin pens. 3. Do's and Don'ts Implement changes to insulin settings gradually, one or two at a time, and evaluate their effect on glucose control after one to two weeks. Printing the summary report and noting down the goals and changes discussed during the consultation can be beneficial. This practice helps empower patients to better understand their data. As a user of an automated insulin delivery system, it is best to take an active role in reviewing personal reports and considering adjustments when necessary, in addition to consultations with healthcare providers. 
Understanding and effectively interpreting reports for automated insulin delivery systems are vital for optimizing glucose control and overall diabetes management. By following a structured approach and collaborating with healthcare providers, users can make informed adjustments, monitor trends, and enhance their journey toward better glucose management and well-being. Remember, managing your diabetes is a continuous process, and with diligent monitoring and proactive engagement with your reports, you are taking significant steps toward achieving better glucose control and overall well-being.